deep-seated, deep-rooted um, arrogance and ignorance that needs to be expunged. Uh, and this goes into uh, religion, absolutely, because this this guy is a uh, through and through Christian, and there's nothing wrong uh, with, with choosing, but there is something wrong with evacuation. There is something wrong, as in not whole, not complete, with accepting that you have a void inside and then filling it with propaganda and thinking that you healed yourself with a band-aid. And, th and that's what most Christians do because they don't go into the deeper esoterics of Christianity. They, they, and this is even this is beyond Christians. Most people in general um, are still very occulted, as in they do not have a mind for their for themselves. They cannot think for themselves, and this isn't bashing or anything like that. This isn't like all oh, the fucking sheeple <laughs> necessarily, but this is just stating and seeing things for how they are. We are in an occulted world. It, it didn't just, you know, we, we didn't just evolve to this. We've devolved to this. We've uh, degraded and been corrupted to the point of this. And that was by design. Whose design? Hmm. Could it be Satan? Could it be the devil? Could it be that you don't know what words really mean? That you, that most people don't know what devil or Satan is uh, at all, but beyond the ideology they've been taught about those word symbols. Anything and everything in certain increments, like we're, we're going to be able to learn from that. Like, unless, in the, in the design of all this shit, is to get caught in loop programs, to get distracted and evacuated so that evil can come in. Oh my gosh, the devil. So yeah, I'll get into this here now. I don't know why American Indians are so genetically incapable of turning down booze, and when they drink, they just drive their cars into brick walls. But it's alcohol. It's alcoholism. And when you look at the Word of God, it's it protects you. Be a, being a slave to God is the only way you're free. When you look at the Word of God, so uh, this is a hardcore fundamental Christian that believes that um, a text that was written by man that has been most likely, if you just look throughout history, what has happened with truth? with uh, things of uh, virtue and true sustenance of life in this period that we are in, do those last or are those used as tools? Are they skewed? Are they corrupted? And used to benefit a certain agenda, a certain select few? Is that to say that there's not wisdom to be had in anything and everything in, in in these texts? Of course, 
there, there's esoterics in there that, that you can learn the key to decipher. And I'm not saying that there's a, a specific, you know, gematria key. I'm saying that there's a specific lens that you tap into inside of yourself. And whenever you tap into that, everything you, you see with a new layer. I know, uh, it becomes, uh, you, see, we, you see with a new depth. So to say that the word of man is word of God first, that's the first corruption. That's the first distraction. And that's the point, is to distract you from... That's that's the whole fucking reason we are in this goddamn shit show right now, people. Somewhere along the way, we allowed someone to interject... They've become an intermediary between us... And the felt direct experience between us and the all that is. The word of God is not in any book. And if you want to call it a book, it is called a living book. It is the living book that is written and being written by you in every moment. And if you go out in nature, you may be able to listen and remember how to read from this living book. But it is not written by man. And then he said, be a slave to God. So let's try to think of that as... Okay accepting, like fully surrendering to God. Acknowledging that God is everything. And even saying God is love it is a is an intermediary. It's a uh, idea and a thought form um, put in place to Confuse. To befuddle. Think of God as a parent and um, of us as children, as a as a loving parent. Would you ever want your child? to be a slave to you and if and I'm not saying that, that that doesn't exist because we have a lot of people out here in today's occulted world that have no business being parents because they are not adults they are not matured in any sense of the word maybe the body is but the mind is still infantile very adolescent No parent in their right mind would ever want their child to be a slave to them. They would want their child to do more than them, to learn from them, but also to be completely free in thought, in action. And to become more than them. To do more than what they could do. So this is the. Ha, 
this is part of the indoctrination that, that's within uh, the occulted uh, religious dogmas. And it was set up this way. All of the religions were set up this way. To battle one another. So that we can have more division and more wars. More reasons to separate. And this guy keeps, you know, saying, I'll get to it, but... Watch out for people that say evil doesn't exist. And I'm not for sure if James True ever really even said that as much as what he was saying. Trying to put a, a definition on evil and that it ultimately comes back down to the individual and their choice. Um, I don't I don't know if James True was saying that it doesn't exist. I think he, what uh, the main point of what he was saying is you have a choice um, into it, allowing it into your body. And that's what happens whenever people become evacuated and vacant. Then they can become a host to a whole uh, smorgasbord of Images and ideas and propagation, propaganda, and suggestion. There's no bugs on blankets. There's no little, uh, there's no like pathogen. You know, I was listening to this, uh, video about another Rockefeller document emerges in and that's the thing it's like all these things are like half truth where it's like step one you know lock people down give them to wear masks step two give them to beg for vaccines then turn on the 5g so they're getting kind of sick if people don't take the vaccine release a new SARS but there's no SARS there's no they can't release anything from from my from what I've seen in the in my life disease is caused by behavior and terrain and this guy says a lot, a lot of fucking really good shit. Uh, what he's about to say here, um, fucking dead on. <laughs> I always pause it in the greatest. <laughs> but, uh,. It's not what we've been led to believe, and they 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 seed in enough, just enough truth that if they can put a spin on it, and then have people like, oh well, see, we can see the tangible thing that they're saying, but that's that's not quite what you're experiencing. That's not quite what you're witnessing. You're being led to believe that what you are witnessing and experiencing is the narrative. That's the whole fucking gamut. My experience, you can disagree all you want, that's what I see. And so that's why people say, but they dare, a classroom of kids will all get uh, chicken pox because they touch, it's all, they're also in the same classroom, and they also are around each other, and yeah, sometimes there is viral shedding from skin with certain lesions, yeah, but it's, it's, it's absolutely not what they say it is. It, it's absolutely, like a lot of people, it's like, well, the, the flu just devastated my household, and well, maybe it's a massive temperature change with electric current, with, um, you know, various factors. People in the same environment all get sick. And the virus is the body's... So what I see in the future, and that will keep going, and that will open to bare mouth, is I think that there's going to be a lot of people starting to get authentically sick. Right now, it's all make-believe. It's all nonsense. But people are buying into it because they, they, they have Stockholm Syndrome, and they watch too many pornos or yep. uh, media... And they believe the numbers. And so they're covering their face. They're making themselves actually sick. They've been scared now for months. They've been isolated. There's, they don't know what the future is. They don't have faith. Uh, they're eating bad food. You know, the, uh, the famine that's coming that's already here is about nutrition. It's not about 
actual food to put in your pool hole. And I wouldn't include that, and also just as a part of this, like just because I disagree with, uh, you know, there there's certain fundamental belief systems. That's why I keep saying like we need to uproot our our belief structure and really see it for what it is, and then, uh, and that's what a lot of us have done, anyways. So it's, it's part of the you know waking up process is you have to unlearn all the fucking garbage but then there's still these deep rooted fucking seedings seedlings the corrupted roots and those are hard to pull up But yeah, this is this has been the setup since uh, day one. Is uh, you know propagate a narrative and then have people go along with it, and then that narrative manifests because people go along with it, and then you can go to stage two. So I mean, that's that's the setup here. You know, problem, uh, reaction, solution. And then, you know, they, they continue the process. And so, uh, addiction's on the rise, promiscuity's on the rise. People are now wearing masks as they fuck anonymous strangers in their anus. The ironies are so absurd that, <laughs> you know, that's how you get a lot of diseases. Is uh, there's, there's an argument that sodomy really changes your gut biome. All right. <laughs> I've been hearing from more and more people dealing with depression. Exactly, exactly. It's the fear is the virus. And this is the biggest part of of, of it all. It is the mental game, the mental warfare, because truly, uh, you control the mental narrative of people, and then everything else is going to fall into play fall into place. The, so the steps to, to degrade, like, uh, someone, like, uh, a people who have lived with the land you have to have that seed uh, of doubt of but how, but how 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 do you interject that and in? you have to first make them feel important powerful and through this skewed lens you can begin to control someone that's unbalanced and then you can get that person to get more people to become unbalanced and then a cascade happens and so what's going to start happening is people are going to start they flip on the 5g and i don't think it's going to be like no i think it's just slowly it's just like when houses were first electrified, uh, there's a wave of uh, disease, and then people, uh, you know, they have their their uh, their DNA or whatever, it adjusts. It's called, uh, I can't remember, I'm sorry about my mind this morning. I was up this morning collecting all these chicks. All these chicks, I was picking <laughs> them. Sponsored by Pumpers, right. Let's see if I can find it here. No, not that. All right, so anyway, what's going to then happen is, uh, they spelled trunk wrong, right? It's like, everybody's like, yeah, man, my kid, I'm having a birthday party. Okay. Uh, my brother won't talk to me because I won't have my child tested for corona. He might... It goes away. No, guys, no. As your local... I'm very sorry and focus on growing and crushing because we're not the ones on the chopping block. 
all those people that are like, get tested, wear the mask. I'd say at least half of them are simply, if you really sat them down and grilled them, they'd be like, yeah, I know it's bullshit, but if we do this, all the pain goes away. No, God, I, no. As you're well, and that's very interesting because I've come across that where, where people tell me all this fucking bullshit and then whenever I just throw in that little comment like this is all fake, this is all bullshit. They're like, yeah, it is. But then they'll but then they'll continue to go along with it. So that's exactly it. Having this weird fucking belief in, in Believing the narrative that you're told and that if we just Continue to do this then yeah, the fear will go away. No, the fear was already inside of you So uh, this this stuff that's happening is just uh, pulling it to the surface like like I keep saying You know uh, that the poison is being expunged now. It's being pulled to the surface Cool friendly expert in torture for some reason, I know all this shit. Maybe it's my ancestral DNA. I don't know. But that complying to a, you know, we do not negotiate with terrorists. Remember all that shit? It's all true. Don't negotiate with terrorists. If people use human shields, you have to shoot the shield. Or else they'll keep doing it. They want your consent. It's... Yeah. What the... There's so much there. Uh... And it all comes back to mentality. What is terrorism? What is terrorism of the mind? Um, what is a taught terrorist act? Um, being taught to terrorize yourself through diet, through uh, engaging certain images and thoughts. Terrorizing your body through addiction, through corrupted food, through distorted mentality. Evil. There is evil in this world. I completely disagree with James True's uh, uh, concept that evil is evacuation. It isn't. There is evil. There is evil in this world. There is no other explanation, in my opinion, uh, of this, what's happening? I thought he said, in my opinion. But this is like a fundamental Christian thing is like, you know, uh, being a slave to God, um, not letting that go, not letting go of. There is a distinct evil and devil and Satan in the world. And if you don't believe that that's so, then that's the greatest trick that he's played on you. This is absolutely an evacuation. And this is, this is why James True is absolutely right. Is because uh, people like that have evacuated the power that they have inside themselves to choose... what they want to allow in. I already went into uh, what James was probably talking about um, with, with the evil thing. I'm not super Spe specified specifically certain uh, what, what exactly they're talking about what was said but uh gotta come from a place you know uh We've been taught to, you know, choose sides. We've been taught to be triggered and offended and, oh, oh, 
nope, I, I don't want to look into that because it makes me feel not good. Well, then you're going to potentially be missing out on shit. On, on a, uh, a piece of a puzzle to help you with uh, a holistic uh, view. And I often say that, you know, there's no good or bad. It's just what you view as that. That's not quite the same thing as saying that there's no evil, but... It's likened to that. So it, it's just becoming clear on, on the definitions of, of what these words are and then moving beyond the words, you know, getting into the roots, getting into the origins and into the images, the original images of how they sprung, how they sprung up, how they came about, how these things started. Intent. So, where did um, a evil intent arise? Where did that first originate from? And evil isn't even the right word here. It's an unbalanced intent. That's the origin. And then it escalated and got more and more spiraled out of control. So I want to read something here. There are particles of all the universal energies in man, there are many of them, and they are contradictory. But all the particles of universal energies must be balanced in man, combined into a single harmonious whole. When even one comes to predominate, the others are immediately reduced, the harmony is violated, and then the earth is transformed and becomes disharmonious. So there are suggestions, there are temptations, there are, there are effects, there are influences being projected out but never forget your ability to choose what you want to allow in because most people have evacuated their ability to choose and most people have been taught to do this willingly and to think that this is right and this is good. That it is good to be a slave. You can say a slave to God, but once you say that word slave, it doesn't matter what word you put in front of it. It does not matter. Having a slave mentality towards anything is an imbalance and even if you set things up uh, you set up set up beautiful projects like what, what he's wanting to do with Bertaria there's still gonna be that seed that root So I'm not saying that people aren't going to benefit from this. What I am saying is that there's going to be a push. And it may not be there at first, but it will be more prevalent later on. Depending upon if he continues 
this mentality of being God-fearing. Why would a parent want their child to fear or be a slave to them? Think. Use logic. Think. Stop accepting dogmatic bullshit and religious doctrines and thinking that the word of man is the word of God whenever you don't realize that the word of God is what you fucking see. It's the natural world. That's, that's the book, uh, the living book. So the setup with this uh, mentality has always been the same game. The name of the game is get people to uh, believe in the fluff and then have that sink, have that hook in. And he has the hook. He has the fucking hook. To help you into thinking that you need to be a slave to God. I'm not saying he's always going to be holding on to that. And I'm going to be working with him on whatever kind of plane that that happens. I mean, it's probably not going to be very physical. So I'm going to have to do it in the astrals. To where the energy comes to him. The mentality comes to him to start questioning more about the fundamentals of things. Certain ideologies. Evil is a spirit, is, is the devil. And yeah, evacuation is the way to get the devil in you, to get the spirit to infect you and make you a meat puppet. But it's fucking real. There's no other explanation why it wants the consent to dehumanize all these people. Oh, I know there's evil. All of us know there's evil. We know and can see that there is an energy that, that seeks to corrupt and degradate. And yes, you can you can throw a label on that as evil, and uh, then go you know a step further, which is what they do, and say that's that's Satan that's coming from a specific that's coming from the dark one. But um, in, in encapsulating things like that, you, you're stopping yourself from continuing to dive deeper into the truth of it. Into the origin point. And, and, and if you do not. If you're, if you're willing to stop there. And you do not want to seek the origin point of what you call the devil. Or Satan or evil. Then that is a huge disservice that you're doing to yourself and to all of humanity. By cutting yourself short. Accepting an intermediary between you and existence. Watch out for people who say, and I don't mean this personally, I think James is a really smart guy. But watch it, but there's been a few things where I'm like, I just have to I have an obligation to people because I've recommended them so much that and I'm not getting into drama, I don't care. I wish him the best, he's got a great mind on him. But like Watch out for people that say evil doesn't exist. It does. It does, guys. And so... Mm. What's going to happen is people are going to start dying. And it's going to be because of the very thing, the Trojan horse, the very thing that uh, they think is going to protect them from the evil. The Trojan horse. And so then they're going to start uh, freaking out. Like, you have to take a vaccine. And people like us are going to be yeah. uh, looked at like, it's because of you. The good news is they're all going to be very, very weak and spiraling. The bad news is 
Uh, you really got to watch out for these people. That's why you need to start uh, forming communities, growing your own food, really understanding how to kind of blend in, not wearing a mask. Don't comply. Kids must be going through a phase of being deceived to have his office. Exactly. Exactly. I used to freak out too much when friends of mine that I've um, recommended uh, say stuff where I'm like, oh, it's my obligation. I have to uh, address. No, I don't. I don't. I'm just saying this because I'm seeing the chat and it's all good. I'm just trying to just clear this up. Some people aren't, they haven't seen evil yet in their life. I mean, they have, but they don't know what it is. Um, but we all go through phases. We all make mistakes. It's all good. Be a light for others. You don't, you don't, it's all good. This whole time of just condemnation and you're the bad man, that it doesn't help anybody. Our battle is not flesh and blood. It's not. It's with evil itself. And there is evil. Get some food, buy a gun, stop buying a gun. <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to include that because that's, that's what I see, you know, where we're headed uh, with with all this, and I definitely agree with with what he said there. Finding communities, finding people of like mind, starting to become more self uh, sustainable and reliable, relying on the origins, the, the what's what's been given to you. From the get go, releasing the things that you have been taught that you're supposed to rely upon. But this idea of evil, it's not, it's not a question of existence, it's a question of acceptance, okay? And like, like you said, uh, consent. This is all a game of, you know, it's a play of what you, what will you consent to? What will you go along with? Will you step up and step in to, to your own power, but not just to your own power, to the recognition and the remembrance of what you are? So I drew a card, and uh, I wanted to share it. Maybe. We got the illuminated mouse again. Strength. A woman nestles in the lap of a great lion. In the palm of her hand sits a luminous mouse. A snake coils around a nearby tree that burns with twelve flames, yet is not consumed. In the distance, a lake and its islands form a...
form a limniscate. Limniscate? Limnis limniscate. Ancient symbol of infinity. That's interesting. Because I've read this before. I do not remember seeing that word. An eclipsed sun hangs over the scene. Strength is calm and firm, but not aggressive. This is a woman at ease with herself and the world. The lion symbolizes her instincts and passions. She has learned to live in harmony with her wild nature, to harness without stifling her instinctual powers. She knows that the source of her strength is love, and so she stays open and connected to it. Clearly, strength is about far more than physical force. It is an emblem of inner fortitude. When it appears, it encourages you to tap into the deep sources of strength. Within yourself, you may find the courage to take risks, face your fears, begin a daunting project, or persevere in a difficult situation. This card also asks you to look at the balance in your life between subduing your passions and expressing them, and remember the quiet voice reminding you that great strength can be found in small things. I would also add um, strength in mental fortitude, mental prowess. So yeah, that, that's it for this one. Um, just just a uh, expression of, you know, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, even though there's something that doesn't sit right. Um, there's, there can be other things that, that are um, inspiring. I, I, got, I gained a lot of inspiration from watching this, but then... Uh, there was those couple things that I'm like, no, that's, that's things that need to be uprooted. Because if you're wanting to continue uh, the path that you're on, and I, I fully support uh, what he's about with this uh, wanting to help and heal people. And, and doing this in a manner that you're not relying on uh, subsidiaries, uh, on intermediaries. To come in. That you'll end up owing later. Later on. Trying to keep things pure and natural. But. As you continue down this process. You're going to have to expunge things. That don't sit right. That don't make sense anymore. And yeah, whenever you're super caught up in any kind of religious uh, you know, belief, it's it's going to be a little bit more harder and difficult because depending upon how long you've been brought up in, within the indoctrination, you're going to have uh, deep-seated roots and emotions tied in. So uprooting those things are going to be a little bit more difficult, but they are absolutely essential. If you want to keep continuing down the path of clarity and purity and what that truly means.
a clearer sense of your origin, your essential nature, and the all that is, Mother Nature, God. A clearer communion. So there's, there's, I will repeat, you know, what James True says, and there, there's much to be unlearned. Empty thy cup all the fucking way before you can really start to fill it with, with true gnosis and an understanding of that gnosis. So, begin with you. That's all we can do. Start clearing your vessel and clearing your mind. Look into fasting. Look into ways you can find silence and stillness and meditation. And... Spend more time in nature. Spend more time in solitude and quietude in nature. Listen to the sounds of nature. Allow them to speak. Allow the sounds to speak to your soul. Allow the stillness to speak to you. Peace.